as a man you should be able to afford this bill okay let's see it is it gonna be a 200 oh my god six thousand two hundred and twenty eight dollars and five cents oh wait oh is that a ten dollar sprite bruh if i'm gonna spend ten dollars on a sprite it better kill me if your parents are different races, then you're mixed race. If both of your parents are one race, such as black, then you're black. Identifying as black when you're mixed race is why the media is erasing black women and replacing them with mixed women. I hope you guys understand now. No, I don't, because mixed race people aren't a race. It's almost like it's in the name. Let's be real here. You're gatekeeping blackness because you're upset that people are giving attention to mixed race black women? I, I don't understand why you would feel upset about that, but what I do know for sure is that this is the norm. Mixed race people, especially online, can never catch a break. I'm so depressed. Posted the Caucasian heterosexual cisgender teenage girl on her blog. Yep, I'm so depressed. Posted by the person who is clinically depressed and who cannot help their depression despite their privilege because depression does not exclusively affect certain groups. That's right. Do you earn a lot of money? Do you have access to a lot of resources? Then I'm sorry, it's just practically impossible for you to be upset about anything. Depression is exclusively for teenagers aged 14 to 17. Oh, and those teenagers also have to have active accounts on Twitter, TikTok, and Tumblr. So if you just don't fall into that category, if you don't meet those requirements, I guess smile more? Digital art can be realistic, anatomically correct, objectively beautiful, but it will always lack a soul. I can't put a finger on it, but whoever appreciates real art made from real materials and not imitations of materials will understand digital art is not real art. Okay, yeah, fool somebody else. I already know what this is about. You are probably a very talented artist. You've painted and drawn your whole life, and you thought your skills were gonna transfer to the digital world pretty easily because, you know, drawing is drawing, right? Right? So you spent $200 on that drawing tablet, and you realize quickly that digital art is a talent in of itself and is not something that everybody can just pick up. So instead of admitting that you're having difficulty drawing and painting in a new medium, you'd rather diminish it entirely just to boost your own ego now look that's just a guess that's just a story on my part that may or may not apply to you but what i know for certain is that a whole lot of nobody cared about your opinion carnist don't come near me i have the flu vegan what is the flu carnist i have never heard is that what you call meat eating people uh, wh are, what that lunacy addressed and put aside you know you can still catch diseases even if you don't eat meat, right? You don't have to live near pigs to catch the flu. You don't have to live on a dairy farm to catch the common cold. Yes, most diseases come from farm animals, but humans are more than capable of spreading diseases to each other. Ironically enough, your diet would probably leave you immunocompromised, so if anybody's gonna catch the flu and die, it's gonna be you. What girls think men want? What men actually want? Real men love traditional women. Nothing's wrong with traditional women or modern women. And from this post, I can tell that you've been with neither because most heterosexual men don't actually care. We just like dating girls who are nice to us. Seriously, if I was concerned with trying to figure out whether a girl is traditional or modern, I would just not be dating anyone. Like I said before, ain't nothing wrong with either type of woman, but choosing one over the other doesn't affect my masculinity in the slightest. So what is this post even supposed to mean? Don't wear vans if you've never been hit by one. She said her boyfriend works on cars. I said, oh, that's cute. Yeah, and I bet she went back to her boyfriend and fucked him at the same time you got called back into work because you fucked up the gear work on a $50,000 semi-truck engine. I swear, only a certain type of person posts something like this unironically. God forbid you meet the person who made the meme to begin with. Both types of people damn near have radioactive personalities plays do recompense even harder. If you listen to video game soundtracks unironically, you have a total of zero friends. The fact that you're insinuating people ironically listen to video game soundtracks is strange enough, but how does someone even formulate this type of argument? Where does this come from? Why do you think people who can listen to video game soundtracks and enjoy them have zero friends. From my experience, people who listen to video game soundtracks are just normal people. Normal people who have friends and play the video games that have said soundtracks. And let's just talk about you. You're posting on Facebook. How many of your friends aren't in your MLM downline? How many of your friends aren't coworkers? Because in my opinion, someone who's a social butterfly really doesn't spend too much time on Facebook. This is the funniest meme. <laughs> 
Oh, there goes the Pythagoras guy. Look, only mathematicians will understand this joke. No, uh, if you passed high school geometry, uh, you understand who Pythagoras is. And uh, the Pythagorean theorem. Every everybody knows that. Everybody understands that the hypotenuse is the shortest distance between two points. That's literally common knowledge. You are not a mega mind for knowing this or finding this meme to be funny. Wanting a strong woman is a sign of homosexuality. Any masculine man wants a submissive woman. Well, they've done it. It's now gay to be straight. This is so funny because both men in this situation are laying pipe. They're actively being heterosexual. The only difference is the dynamics of the relationship. It's obvious that this dude is down tremendous. He's mad that even submissive men are getting more than him. And to be honest, I'd be bitter too. If I knew that guys wearing maid dresses were getting more work than me, shit, I'd make posts like this on Twitter as well. Misery loves company and it's obvious that this guy wants to spread the pain. Can someone explain to me what went wrong i will point out that compared to like riding a motorcycle a scooter is really lame and i would never use a scooter to commute to my job it's just a really bad look <laughs> but i don't know how this is a masculinity thing there's plenty of men who still ride motorcycles to work or just ride them regularly and recreationally those men still exist and you're definitely not one of them because those guys are too busy riding their motorcycles and having fun you're at home posting weird comparison memes on facebook Hashtag today's kids will never know. This was all you needed for a birthday party back in my day. Yo, this is so nostalgic, especially the hug juice. If you've never drank these before, don't. It's awful. Imagine water, but flavored with food coloring. That's exactly what that tastes like with like a touch of sugar. But on a hot summer day, oh my God, those smack. Now granted, I might be looking at this through rose tinted glasses because you know, I was like six years old the last time I drank this type of juice, but Oh, it was so good, especially the cake and the ice cream. Oh, it's, it's perfect. And do you want to know something else? Many kids experience this, not just Gen Z, not just millennials. Almost all kids have a summer birthday party story that has something to do with like a cheap store-bought cake. The juice is either Sunny D, Hawaiian Punch or Kool-Aid, a giant bulk box of ice cream. Yeah, and everybody's eating a hot dog when they were like six years old. Plenty of kids have experienced this. It's not exactly like this, but it's damn close. If you can't hear him six blocks away, you don't have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. Just wait till I get my license back. Oh, so you're one of those. Playing your music as loud as possible, being as obnoxious as possible just to prove to the whole neighborhood that you have a nice sound system. Ironically enough, you turn it up so high that nobody actually knows what music you're playing. We just feel the bass. But yeah, I guess I'm a girl because I respect other people. And I also respect my stuff. Who wants to replace their speakers every month because you blew them out? And I almost went to the next post without talking about this. You lost your license? I wonder why you lost your license. How, how did that happen? Y'all's dads drink spice lattes. My dad threw beer cans in the bed of the truck from the driver's seat at 65 miles per hour. We ain't the same. You know what, you're right. My dad isn't the same as yours. He doesn't drink and drive, risking the lives of other people on the street. Oh wait, I'm sorry, 65 miles per hour? The highway. So your father is a lot more deadly than mine. That's another difference. Yeah, your dad is deadly, irresponsible, and a drunk. Well, look at that. It's a wholesome meme, you know, just two siblings choosing to hang out with their grandparents instead of, you know, playing video games. You can always play video games, you won't always have your grandparents. You know, spend time with them, you tell them about their day, make sure that you're in their life. It's all positive. In no way can someone take issue with, excuse me, good on you, but this isn't a meme. Oh, it's Reddit. Of course, of course somebody on Reddit would say, this is probably the most on-brand Reddit thing to say. If this is actually not the proper way to use the meme format, I'm a mod for r slash dank meme, and I've seen this format used many times correctly, and this one, even though it's positive, it's just incorrect. I have to say this for my ego, because I still live in my mom's basement. If you love Marvel because of him, you're not even remotely a fan. <laughs> and I would suggest you quit having opinions right now. <laughs> The comics are what should make everyone love Marvel. Yep, you're right. Everybody should love Marvel because of the comics, because that's where all of the story is from. You'll find so much more lore than what you would be exposed to on a Disney Plus TV show or on a movie screen. But the vast majority of Marvel fans were just exposed to the films, and their admiration for the fandom is just as significant and just as valid as anybody else's. Because at the end of the day, everybody just likes Marvel. It doesn't matter if you just like the comics. It doesn't matter if you just like the films. 
We all like the same characters. Why can't we just enjoy the fandom together? Activity like this kills a fandom. It does. It makes it super toxic and unfun. And isn't that the whole point of setting up a fandom? To share your admiration of a specific IP and to have fun? Why is that lost on people? Please, do not tell the world you've done skydives if you've done a few tandems where you actually were strapped onto a real skydiver. I'ma stop you there. You did skydive. You wanna know why? Because everyone has to do tandems at first. The whole point is to get you acclimated to skydiving and to teach you how to do all the stuff you need to do up there to survive. The vast majority of people only ever skydive once, so their only experience is a tandem. Stop trying to gatekeep skydiving. It's already scary. If you did it, you did it. Congratulations. It doesn't matter if you had somebody strapped to your back. I find swearing a low form of intelligence. It shows you have limited vocabulary choices. I think you have proven your own stupidity. Homie, you posted this on Whisper. <laughs> this is by far like the weirdest platform ever, full of posts like this and also confessions and you can DM people so a lot of it is full of creepy guys trying to talk to women. It is a strange app. And you chose to post this. Now funny enough, you're kind of right. People who use a lot of curse words in their speech are typically using it as a supplement for a limited vocabulary. Vocabulary. But these people aren't stupid. They just haven't read enough books. If you want to improve your vocabulary, just read more books. It's not that hard. Maybe even practice some free writing or some fiction writing. And don't even get me started about people who will deep throat a thesaurus just to convince other people that they're intelligent. Those people are the funniest because they'll listen to how other people will speak. And if you drop a big word that they think is intelligent around them a lot, even if the word doesn't make sense in the context of the conversation, they'll apply it to their own vocabulary and misuse the word for the rest of their life. Just do that around these people. They won't fucking notice it because they're trying to prove to the whole world that they're intelligent. Anyone ever suck dick to see porn? Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Sell your mom's DVD player on the street? Rob a dude to see porn? Then maybe stop calling it an addiction. Crackheads earn that word. It's their word. I have no response because that's just so blatantly wrong. Addiction is addiction, sir. It can be applied to any situation. It's a general term for an unhealthy obsession or dependence on anything. I understand that maybe you, I guess, are sober from your crack addiction and you're feeling a little egotistical about that, but um, no, I'm sorry. You can't just own a general term. I just, that's just not gonna happen. Name a girl that didn't cry during the Titanic. I don't think you know many girls. Real women, darling, not whatever you are. <sighs> Reddit, everybody. So to all the women out there, if you didn't cry during the Titanic, you are now a girl. So uh, I guess uh, give up your driver's license. Um, I would move back in with your parents to get started. That's a that's a first step to you know regressing as a child. If the Nintendo DS Lite is older than you, shut the fuck up. Why do you have beef with kids? Why are you so angry that children exist? What's up everyone, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. As always, you gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make videos like this possible. A big thank you to Light1636, Broken to Asters, Jackson, The Business, Lady Laps a Lot, Brett, Mina the Swift, Esau, Izuku, Destroyer, Trey, Muffy Woohoo, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Arjun, Hannah, Keith Myers, Will Billy, Dustin, and Hostmar. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.